Jared, obviously you have a boatload of new teammates here for various awards now. Um, you're you're kind of like doing the shot kind of like those groups of seven in the next Now, what are you seeing with guys like Joshua Williams, Trent McDuffie, uh, the new uh, guys? I see that they're hungry, man. Like, they want to be successful. I call Trent like the little Steph Curry. Like, he's a little, little swift little guy. You know, he, do, he can do it all from the inside, from the outside. But I see all of them got potential, though. Is it interesting watching them sort of understand what Spax wants, given what it was like for you and your own experience as a rookie? Because you didn't have a traditional training camp. Um, what's it been like to watch it from, from your perspective to see them kind of go through this camp? Uh, I can tell, man, from the OTAs, you know, I can tell that they was ready to go when they first came in. You know, I can tell that they learned it a lot and they taking everything in as a young player and soaking it in. You professionally, you're now entering your third year. How much would you say you've grown since you've entered the league as a rookie to, to where uh, you are right now? I've grown a lot, man. I can tell that uh, it's my year three, and I feel like an old guy. You know, with these young guys coming in, and I feel like I'm the veteran of the, of the crew. But I feel like, man, I learned a lot from the time being to now. From the inside, I learned a lot from the outside with my technique. Is, is, is Nickel a little bit Oh uh, man, you know, whatever I can do for the team. You know, I'm a team guy, whatever I can do for the team to help the team. How's McDuffie been doing as he's been mixing in? Uh, doing well, you know, he's learning and picking up things really fast as a rookie, you know. What about the topic, Joshua? What have you learned from him so far? What has he kind of taken from you? Kind of taken him under his wing? Well, Josh, man, I try to steal some things from him as in using his hands. You know, he's very good with his hands and he's very patient at the line. You know, I learned from him as a rookie, but I'm still learning myself, you know. Nickel more last year. Um, can you explain what you gained from that that you know will be better doing that job this year? Uh, yeah, I could tell that run fits. My run fits, you know, I can jump gaps and make more plays, tackle for losses and stuff like that. That's something that you seem to be known for, especially in the run, because it shifts up all the talent and everything. You know, how do you, how do you keep that edge? How do you maintain that? I mean, you know, it's all a mindset, you know. You know, them big guys in there, you know, you can't go in there, you know, soft and stuff. You know, it's all in your mind. Where'd you pick that up? Uh, I don't know where I picked it up from. I just picked it up. I just play ball. I mean, you have a really good story to tell. And now that you get to be kind of the veteran in this group, how have you maybe seen yourself step into a mentor to these young guys explaining all the new hype of, hey, you're in the NFL now, you're going to get a lot of attention. Have you uh, we haven't sat down and talked about that yet, but, you know, we have talked about ball. You know, they're trying to learn ball right now. But on our off days, you know, we get together, do Bible study, try to get in the Word with God. That's where we start off at. Okay. Thanks, 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 Thank you all.